My name is David Curry. Uh, I am an interpretive planner and exhibit designer. Uh, that role plays uh, a very important part of museums that you visit. Uh, and it's not one that uh, many times people see as a career choice. However, if you are creative, if you are imaginative, if you love storytelling, the opportunity to fulfill people's adventures within these types of places that you visit, uh, maybe with your parents or by yourself or with a school group, I think can be very fascinating and an exciting career choice. Here at the National Medal of Honor Heritage Center, our goal was to create uh, a storytelling environment in which people could come and learn the stories behind Medal of Honor recipients and their actions that took place from the American Civil War through today. Each place that you walk, in which you engage, in which you listen, in which you see within this building uh, is a storytelling opportunity. Uh, we learn from stories, we get our values from stories, uh, we pass along information from one generation to the next through stories. The opportunity to do that here in Chattanooga, Tennessee fulfills those opportunities. My choice as uh, interpretive planner and exhibit designer uh, to create these types of facilities and institutions uh, is to help kids like you learn. And thousands of students a year come through the center to learn about things that they may not really comprehend or may not have heard in other places. And so the opportunity to learn about that uh, I think is our mission. And it's kind of my mission as an interpretive planner and a museum exhibit designer. Here at the center, um, we have some new and exciting opportunities that we're really looking forward to getting some help on. Uh, one of those is around the Space Medal of Honor. Uh, this award is not given lightly. Uh, these individuals have exhibited a tremendous amount of courage uh, and integrity uh, and perseverance uh, to explore places that most of us only dream about. And so here at the National Medal of Honor Heritage Center, we have one of those exciting space medals and an opportunity to tell a really big story. So I'm looking for some help. Uh, I don't have the time I need to really make this story gel uh, the way that I wish I could uh, or to reach audiences like you. And so we think it would be fantastic uh, if you could in some way or another help us with that. The challenge is this. The exhibit space is less than a thousand square feet. Within that 1,000 square feet, you have just 60 square feet to create an engaging exhibit that can run from the floor to the ceiling, which is almost nine and a half feet. That's up to you. The process you go through to design an exhibit is not extremely complicated. We always start with the story. What do we want people to engage and learn about? From there, we develop that storyline that then we have to put into a visual element that people can recognize. And so we use all different types of uh, opportunities of fulfillment pieces like creating models uh, or digitally designing on uh, using software uh, and then spatial analysis and, and finally what are all the instruments when they come together uh, that is visually appealing, visually pleasing, and at the same time engages audiences in a multiplicity of ways? What we really want you to do is be creative. Stretch your mind. Try to see things maybe in the way that you haven't seen them before. Then if you create some type of model around that, you can use, if you are part of a STEM program at your school, there may be some opportunities to do 3D printing. Uh, or if you don't, you can go back just to the conventional paper, plastic, cardboard, use crayons, use markers. What we're really looking for is how much 
effort and ingenuity you can put in to your vision of what this exhibit will look like.